All right, so I'm gonna do a practical exercise on extrusion, irregular shapes. So I'm going to import in this front view an image plane by going to this icon right here. I'm gonna select the image plane. There it is. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is put that image plane in a new layer. I'm gonna call it image plane give it a color I'm gonna hit save and I'm going to first hit T for template and then R for reference this way I cannot select this image plane if I want to select it I'm gonna go to my image plane layer right mouse button select object and now I can go to my attribute editor and under the alpha gain I can reduce its opacity so when I use the quadro to create my shape the image opacity doesn't get on the way Next, I'm going to hide my grid by going right here to this icon where it says grid, or I can go to display grid and deselect it. And now I'm going to go to the modeling toolkit and I'm going to use the quad draw. So the shape that I want to do is going to be this piece right here that says lounge. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to start by creating a quad in this corner like this. Then I'm going to move my cursor in the middle of these four points, hold shift to see the preview, and then hit the spacebar. Now, the next process is just going to be using the tab key. So if I click on tab, hold it down, I can extend this edge, and I'm going to make quads, and then use move to the corners, so I can make the corners move in the direction that I want. Another way would be to manually build these quads one by one and then moving inside of these guys hold the shift key preview and then click so there's many ways that we can do this um, for this one right here i'm just going to continue with the tab and then extend to a point that we want like this right spread the corners and then use the control key and split your quads whichever way you want them so I'm going to split them in half and then split them in half again. So I'm going to go around my object. And once I'm done, I'll return so that we can continue with our extrusion. Again, I'm creating the uh, points with a quad draw. And then with a the tab, what I'm doing is I'm extending the edge. And then with the control key, I'm splitting my super long polygon face and then I'm doing the same thing for the top and then I go back to using the quadro creating that curve splitting the long polygon face and then at the end what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish that bottom right corner I'm gonna have to make it up same technique as the rest And there you have it. In a matter of minutes, I was able to create that frame. And let's continue. I'm going to hit 3 to see my smooth preview. If I need to adjust smooth preview, all you got to do is go to the corners of the light blue mesh that is your smooth preview. like so and the regular version will be updated also again if you want to see more of the image go to your channel right mouse button select object attribute editor and increase the alpha gain like so now I'm going to readjust those corners real quick and once I'm happy with my corners, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude my border edges. And the way that we're going to do that is select the object, go to Modeling Toolkit, go to Quad Draw. I'm going to hit 1 so I can get out a smooth preview. 
I'm going to hold tab and if I hold tab and extend right now I'm only going to extend one edge what I want to do is extend the border edge in order to do that I'm going to go to tab right mouse button and I'm going to select extend border when I do that now I can hold tab and I'm going to extend the entire border at once I'm going to create one single extrusion a very small one that will be my fencing and I'm going to do it on the outside also make sure that they both match and now what I can do I can get out of quadra let me hide the visibility of the image plane that'll make more sense so I'm going to select this border edge by double clicking on here and notice that it will have gone all the way around our object I'm going to go to my perspective I'm going to get rid of my grid, hit F so I can find that border right here. I'm going to select actually both the inner and the outer. So hold shift, double click on the outer edge. And what I'm going to do in my modeling toolkit, I'm going to click on extrude. Now when I extrude, it's going to put my gizmo on one of the edges. I don't know which edge is going to pick, but I want to do this from the whole of my selections, both the inner and the outer. So I'm going to click on this blue icon right here that looks like a key. So it puts the gizmo in the middle. And now what I can do is I can make my first extrusion. Now my first extrusion is going to be a fencing extrusion, meaning that this extrusion is going to be as thick as the border that we created in the front so that it functions as a fencing. And as soon as I do that, I'm going to create another extrusion by hitting G or clicking on the extrude option right here. And again, put the extrusion in the middle of your selections by clicking on this icon right here. And now your gizmo will go to the center. And then I'm going to create another extrusion. Now this extrusion right here is the extrusion that's going to go to the inside of our neon sign. So if I turn on the visibility of my image plane, it will be where the words lounge will be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a little bit of thickness. And then again, I'm going to repeat another extrusion. I'm going to look at it from my right view. Let me hit F. I'm going to change the color of my canvas so you can see this better go to wireframe let me zoom in so this is the new extrusion right here and then what I'm going to do okay let me hide the image plane I'm going to hit Q double click on this edge and I'm going to create the inner extrusion so I'm going to go to modeling toolkit extrude so I want the same thickness right I can go to my front view and find the gizmo there it is and what I can do is visually I can match it to the one right here these two guys so I'm gonna pull this one back so now I'm gonna hit Q and while this inside border is selected I'm gonna go to fill hole so that's shift right mouse button fill hole so it's gonna create this gigantic end gone and as you can see, when I hit three, I get my nice little corner 